Hello folks, Scott with Dallas Paint Correction and Auto Detailing here in Dallas, Texas. I want to talk about this little thing. This isn't going to be a, a long video, it won't kill you. But this is a vacuum that I think is, uh, in my opinion, one of the best little vacuums I've ever used as far as auto detailing is concerned and I'll tell you why. It's rigid, it's a four gallon, five horsepower vacuum, got plenty of suction. It's a wet dry vac. I hardly ever use it for sucking up any type of fluid off of carpets or upholstery, but it's capable of doing it. What you have to do if you're going to use it wet, you got to open up this container by pulling up these little handles, taking the top off, and removing. Look at this, I got junk in here I got to take care of. But you got to remove this filter to be able to use it as a wet vac. Not a big deal. I've actually sucked up a little bit of water and left the filter on. It didn't, didn't hurt anything, but I'm not telling you to do that. But it worked for me. But if you're gonna pull if you're gonna suck up a lot of water, you want to go ahead and take that filter off. Why do I like this thing? Now this this model here happens to be, I think the VAC 4000. If you notice, what's very popular with a lot of detailers is they're using the same version of this, which is the four gallon, five horsepower rigid. I think it's the next model up, but it's got wheels on it, right? And it's got a little carrying case in the back you can put stuff in it. That's fine. I'm, uh, to me, here's, here's my deal with it. There's a reason why I don't like that one. I don't like anything really with wheels on it. Why? I don't like having a habit of pulling on this hose because if it's got wheels on it, I'm going to start pulling on the hose and making this thing like I'm walking the dog, I'm pulling it around the car. I don't want to ruin my hose. I don't want anything that could potentially roll if I'm working on an incline in somebody's driveway and I set this vacuum down and it's on wheels. I don't want it to roll away from me. I don't want it to roll into the car. So I actually like the version that doesn't have wheels on it. When I set this sucker down on the driveway, it stays put. It stays where I want it to be at all times. It's lightweight, easy to transport, throw it in the back of my vehicle, doesn't take up a lot of space. Here's a little tip though, if you buy this rigid VAC 4000 or the one with the wheels, whatever makes sense for you. Actually, this one I bought on Amazon. I think I paid $84 for it, and then all of a sudden I got ticked off because I walked into Home Depot and the same model I think was like $69. Bucks. For $69 for this rigid wet dry vac with five horsepower, what is it? Yeah, five horsepower, plenty of suction to pull up pet hair, all sorts of debris inside the carpet. I've never had any issues with it lacking any type of power. Some guys like the Metrovac. Well guess what? The Metrovac is on wheels. I don't like that. Plus it's made out of metal. That thing can roll around on me and start hitting the outside of the car. I'm a detail. The last thing I need is that Metrovac blower rolling into the car, denting it, scratching it. So I like something that stays put. Not that Metrovac is bad. It's a nice vacuum. It's got plenty of power. You can turn it into a blower. But then again I've got a whole video about why I think using a Metrovac as a blower is a no-no, like everything else, right? I got so many opinions. But here's the deal, when you buy this thing, it's gonna come with some plastic hose made by Rigid, it's a piece of crap, it's not flexible, It's if you run it over by accident with the car, you'll crush it, you'll break it, it's just not user-friendly, so I actually bought this hose on Amazon too, I think it's made by Mr. Vacuum, it attaches to the Rigid really well, um, it's much more flexible, much more forgiving. It's not so rigid as the piece of plastic hose that comes with this rigid vacuum. You can't crush this thing. Well, I guess if you drove it over, you know, two-ton truck, you'd probably crush it. But who's going to do that, right? But the deal is, is this is far more durable, a little bit more easier to work with, user-friendly. So there's a tip there. If you buy this vacuum, look at Mr. Vacuum on Amazon. Get the professional hose with it. It's awfully long. The other thing I want to talk about about this vacuum is when you buy the Mr. Vacuum, this, this hose, and you want to attach it to the rigid, something really interesting happens. When I bought that Mr. Vacuum package, it comes with a bunch of nozzles, and what's so crazy is that the nozzles on the end of this hose, they don't fit the attachment. Mr. Vacuum is selling a great, a great hose, but not all the attachments that come in the box actually fit the end of the nozzle. I don't know what that's about. Come on, Mr. Vacuum, wake up. Some of those nozzles don't fit. They're way too tight to get in it. Or you put them in the end of the nozzle and they're too loose. It's like, I don't know if maybe I bought a bad batch or something, but I didn't like the nozzles that came with it anyway, but I liked the hose and that's why I bought it. 
But here's a really interesting little tool. This is a crevice tool. It's kind of built on an angle. This is made by Rigid, I believe. I actually bought this at Home Depot. They make one, I think this is an inch and a seven, inch and seven eighths wide, which seems to be perfect for me getting underneath floor, uh, underneath seats, around the back of the car. Big SUVs works just fine. They make one that's a little bit wider. I think it's like two and a half inches wide. That's cool too. I bought one of those. But what's really cool about this tip that, that attaches perfectly on the end of the Mr. Vacuum hose, and it's not loose, it's tight, this thing's got a little LED light on it. When I push this button, and I can lock that button too, that's probably annoying, right, as you're looking at that. But say I'm vacuum underneath the dashboard and I want to see what's going on, I don't have enough light, I just push this little stupid button and I can lock it in place and it stays on, and there's actually a screw that you can open the top of this off and, and change the battery if it goes bad and that's fine so you can replace it in the future but this little thing has saved my butt a couple times I'm working in tight areas underneath the dashboard and it's kinda dark for me I don't have a drop light that's just one more thing I gotta bring on the job holy crap this little thing made by Ridges I, I think this was like ten bucks and it's got a built-in little little flashlight LED bulb I can turn it on when I'm working under the dashboard in dark places and see what I'm getting to silly little rigid tool attachment a nozzle and it works great this thing can get into a lot of different areas between the driver's side the driver's seat or the passenger seat and your kick plate you can kind of get in there and suck up any debris that fell in that area I love it but there's a quick little video about the rigid I paid eighty four dollars on it at Amazon that's fine it, I, it was worth every dollar but you can get these pretty cheap at Home Depot I think they're sixty nine bucks the same model the VAC 4000. Just look for Mr. Nozzle on Amazon. They sell uh, a professional hose that fits the rigid just fine. You want to replace that hose. The one that comes with it is just a piece of crap. It'll fall apart. It's not so easy to work with. The thing wants to bind up on you. You're fighting it all the time. It's a pain in the tookish. But this is a uh, cool little vacuum. VAC 4000. Five horsepower, four gallons. It can be wet, can be dry. This thing has been perfect. Used it for a couple of years. Um, I just think it's great. You like the one with the wheels? Go ahead. Just realize the one with the wheels may roll around on you if you're on an incline or a steep driveway or whatever. I take that out of the equation. I don't want my vacuum rolling towards the car. I also don't want to get in the habit of ruining my equipment by pulling on the hose because I know it's got wheels on it and this thing follows me around like I'm walking a dog on a leash. I just don't like doing that. I want to keep my equipment intact and working for me for years to come. So that's my little deal. It's got a little hole in the top of this thing. That's kind of cool, right? You can put your nozzle on the end of it like that, and it holds it in place when you're not using the vacuum. But this thing's lightweight, easy to transport, easy to store, keeps sucking. It works great. I just think it's one of the best vacuum out there for auto detailing. Again, the VAC 4000 made by Rigid. Take a look at it on Amazon or go to Home Depot, much cheaper at Home Depot. When I saw that, I said, oh, I got ripped off, but I had to calm down real quick and realize, all right, so I paid a little bit more for it. I, I would have paid $150 for this thing, to be honest with you, because it's just that great. But a quick little video about a, a vacuum, the one I like, if you guys are just getting into auto detailing, you don't have to buy a shop vac, 50-gallon thing will suck the chrome off exhaust tips. That's not necessary. Don't overthink it. They're too big. They're too bulky. They're not user friendly. It's it's just overkill, in my opinion, to vacuum out a vehicle, no matter what vehicle you're 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 cleaning. So take a look at the VAC 4000. If you like the one with the wheels, get the one with the wheels. That's cool too. I just I don't for the reasons I told you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Hope this video has helped you out a little bit. Rigid. Take a look at it at Home De Depot. I think I was just in there the other day. Sixty nine bucks. How can you go wrong? A great name, great company, high quality for $69. I paid a little bit more for it. I'm a schmuck, but there you go. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Till the next time, guys. Love one another. Be kind to one another. And I appreciate all your support. I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Be safe.